the launch of the Jemison Dublin International Film Festival. The opening film is Doubt, and we're going to be talking to Irvine Welch and Orla Brady, who attended tonight's screening. <laughs> Orla Brady, you're talking to JDiff TV with Entertainment.e. Okay. Now, I understand that the second series of Mistresses is broadcasting, well, starting on BBC One on Tuesday. Tuesday night. Um, has the filming wrapped? Is everything in the can, or yeah, have you got yeah. more? Yeah, no, we don't fly by the seat of the pants quite in that way. Now, we, we finished in November, and um, that's a hard enough schedule on them getting it all ready. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it. So, um, some insider information now. Does Harry accept the child as his own? He does. He does. Oh! I know, I know. I think um, Harry is such a lovely character and he accepts the child and we kick off the series with them having kind of decided to keep the child and he's very much being a loving father. And I think, um, I think he's so lovely and Siobhan is so clearly in the wrong about many things that I live in fear of being handbagged by Raza Jeffrey fans for being mean to Harry. <laughs> so. And of course uh, Dominic is still hanging around as well. Dominic's still hanging around but he's, he's, he's keeping a respectful distance. I think he's very aware of how... Um, you know how guilty she feels about the fact that, you know, she's caused so much hurt, and she has. And I think she kind of is living in a kind of horror of what she's done, of the fallout from what she's done. I just want to ask you, um, is porno being made into the sequel for Trainspotting? Because there's been an awful lot of rumours about it. Yeah, I mean, the, the position is that uh, we've never had a script before, and we've, we've not kind of really sort of got around to doing anything about it. But... Um, I think we decided that in April, myself and uh, John Hodge, who did uh, Train Spotting, ad adapted it, and uh, Andrew McDonald, who's the producer, are just going to kind of basically lock ourselves in a hotel room for a few days and see if we can knock out a script. And uh, if that works out, you know, if we get something that's kind of good and usable, then uh, the next thing is to, to see if Danny's interested, get him on board, and um, and then it's you, you go through the process of uh, getting everybody else involved after that. But uh, we've never had a script, so it's all been kind of academic. And um, I think the reason, you know, the reason is we've just been involved in doing so many different things, and it's been hard for us all to get together. But we've, we've had discussions and meetings about it, but kind of proper ones this time. So I mean, if, if we can get together in April, which we're planning to do, then it should ha it should we should get something. We, we should get to that first base, basically. Uh, do, do you reckon uh, the the uh, the primary cast from Train Spotting will you make the role bigger for Renton so you McGregor might come back or I think that that's one of the things we've been talking about that we have to have a kind of role for a minute because you know the the book was basically kind of sick boy's book he was the main character and uh, there isn't really a role for Renton in it so we would probably have to kind of do something there to make it. Uh, I mean, I think all actors kind of, I mean, any actor just wants to see a, a decent script and they want to have a decent role in it for them. And uh, so, I mean, it's, the challenge is to kind of, um, you know, so it would be a very, it would probably be a very different script than it would be the, the book from, from the book content-wise. So it, it would be kind of uh, to try and involve people and, you know, and tr tr to try and come up with a script that appeals, basically. Um, is this going to be the highlight of, your, of the festival for you or is there anything else you're looking forward to? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll be going to loads and loads of things. I mean, kind of, um, I just, I just uh, get, I got on yesterday and I bought a load of tickets, so I'll just be kind of, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be buying tickets tomorrow, so just keep an open mind and see what happens. Buy like. them in advance because they're all selling out quickly. I know, yeah, very much so. Yeah. Thank you very much, Irvine. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Mike Sheridan, film reviewer with Entertainment.ie. Yeah. I believe you bought your shirt this afternoon. Where did it you is, buy it? Um, designer called Zara. Designer called Zara. Have you ever heard of him? Yeah, yeah. It's great. Like an hour ago, I didn't even have to iron it. Can you tell? Yeah. How I many? No creases. I did not even ask me to take my jacket off. So. How many screenings have you been to this week? You're very busy. I'd say about 15, 16 in total. And what's the film you're most looking forward to? Are you excited about anything at all? Yeah, Gran Torino. Gran Torino is the big one for me. You know, no Clint though. Very disappointing. Or Meryl Streep. Enjoy date. Orla Rafter and Kiro Callahan, both from Fair City. I understand there's going to be a bit of a love triangle going on with Louis. Is there? She, she well. gets him. Oh, does she? But I thought you. I thought next week you were going to be a little bit of action. Only for the week. All oh, right. <laughs> and then Yvonne gets her claws in. <laughs> okay. Uh, so is the hungry pig going to see any action? <laughs> uh, I'd say it'll see a bit of action. All right. Yeah. Probably will. In the kitchen or the restaurant itself. A bit I of both. I couldn't comment on that. <laughs> I couldn't comment. It's my first time at this festival, and I like you know uh, coming from the Cannes Film Festival is very important to be in some of the festival and even sometimes to learn something, uh, to visit and to 
and to meet some some new people and new. So tonight is very important, and uh, and and tomorrow they they did they are going to do me the favor to they ask me to make a master class. So I have to say some secret of can, ah. but I will resist uh, because these are secrets. Inform the Irish people. We need to know. You're talking to JDF TV and Entertainment.e. What are going to be your festival highlights? I think this actually, because I've seen the play. I know the play, and Philip Seymour Hoffman, one of my favourite actors, and Meryl Streep, everybody's favourite actress. So you know, this this kind of can't go wrong. I think. Although I've said that before, but a lot of things. Are you going to be reviewing it on the View? I believe we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll keep my powder dry when I come out. So don't ask me <laughs> when I come out. I'll uh, I'll leave you be. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. From uh, Doubt to Confessions of a Shopaholic, the, the lineup is really diverse this year. Uh, were you aiming for that? Are you really proud of uh, how diverse it is this year and is it the most diverse year to date? I'm not quite sure because in a way every year is different. You know, I mean, you can't step into the, the same screenings year after year. Every year you'll have a film that you think is something like you've seen before but actually will be completely different. There's different directors, there's different countries represented. I mean, from my point of view, I have a family who loves going to the cinema, but they all fight over what we go to see. Yeah. So I have to try and find something that everybody will appeal to, whether it's you know, my mum who goes twice a week or it's my brother who goes once a year. But equally, you're always conscious of the things that you want to see, and definitely some of the archive films are the ones that I really wanted to bring back and put them on the big screen. Well, I, with Nail and Eyes being screened, isn't it? Well, that's a project that I really... I really wanted people to sort of, you know, take up, which was to try and get a bunch of people to pick their favourite European film and to pick the films that they really enjoyed and had a connection to. So Whitnail and I is there, Les Enfants de Paradis is there, um, we also have Brief Encounter, uh, My Life as a Dog, and really it was about, as I said, that just that connection that people have with the cinema. It doesn't necessarily have to be a new film. Our tagline this year is, is you know, favourite films, and the whole idea is that we'll celebrate the ones that people have and hopefully create a couple in the future. Grania, have you got any advice for people who are coming over the next week and a half to the festival? Get on the website, read the programme, and I'm sure you'll find two or three things that you'll actually really like. The other thing I'd say is, is if, if you think you want to go to something, book now, because it's a terrible, terrible pity. But 75% of the films that we're showing will never come back to a, a cinema in Ireland, so this is your only chance. So if you want to come, please start booking, because you'll really miss out a great opportunity.